When starved for nutrients, certain gram-positive genera, including some important pathogens, can develop dormant heat and desiccation-resistant spores. Most of our knowledge of bacterial sporulation comes from the gram-positive soil bacterium Bacillus subtilis. When growing in rich media, this microbe undergoes normal vegetative growth. B. subtilis can replicate every 30 to 60 minutes. In contrast, starvation initiates sporulation, an elaborate eight-hour genetic program that ultimately yields a spore. Sporulation can be divided into eight morphological stages. Stage zero represents the point at which the vegetative cell decides to use one of two potential polar division sites to begin septum formation instead of the central division site used for vegetative growth. Stage one involves replicating and stretching the DNA into a long axial filament that spans the length of the cell. Ultimately, one of the polar division sites wins out, and in stage two, septation occurs, dividing the cell into two unequal compartments, the forespore, which will ultimately become the spore, and the larger mother cell from which it's derived. Each compartment contains a chromosome. In stage three of sporulation, the mother cell membrane engulfs the forespore, resulting in a structure encircled by two membranes. In stage four, the mother cell chromosome is destroyed and a cortex made up of a thick peptidoglycan layer is placed between the two membranes surrounding the four spore protoplast. This cortex will be important in providing heat resistance and maintaining dormancy to the spore. In stage five, layers of coat proteins are deposited on the outer membrane. Stage 6 completes the development of spore resistance to heat and chemical insults. This last stage includes the synthesis of dipicolinic acid in the mother cell and its uptake into the core of the spore. Dipicolinic acid is important in maintaining dormancy and in promoting spore dehydration, a characteristic that makes the spore heat resistant. In stage 7, the mother cell, now called a sporangium, releases the mature spore. Spores are resistant to many environmental stresses that would kill vegetative cells. The nature of this resistance is due in part to a spores having only 10 to 30 percent of a vegetative cell's water content. But spores also contain small acid-soluble proteins that bind to and protect DNA from damage by ultraviolet light and various toxic chemicals. Fully mature spores can exist in soil for at least 50 to 100 years and have been known to last thousands of years. Once proper nutrient conditions arise, another genetic program called germination is triggered to wake the dormant cell, dissolve the spore cortex and coat, and release a rehydrated, viable vegetative cell.